<laughs> We're here with the newly announced iPad 2, um, showing the white version here. White will be available on launch day. Uh, the first thing I wanted to compare was the actual physical difference between the, the original iPad and the iPad 2. So you can see here that it is dramatically thinner. Um, the, the iPad 2 is less th is a third as, as the third as thick as the original iPad, and it really makes a difference, especially when you hold it in your hand. So, so, so there, there for the physical difference. And um, let's show the back real quick. Um, there's the back, of course, of the original iPad, and the iPad 2 features the same brushed aluminum, but this one now has, uh, of course, a rear-facing camera. And let's see if I can get it here. There's a m much bigger speaker here on the bottom, so it should be it should be quite a bit louder than the original iPad. So there, there's the physical differences. And the next I wanted to show, oh, of course, in the the, the, the rear camera and of course the front facing camera. So there are two cameras ready for FaceTime, photo booth, and um, all, the other, uh, all the other good Apple camera fun. Um, let's, tr let's look now at the new case. So before, of course, we had the old Apple case, which was kind of cumbersome and hard to put on. But check out how easily the new Apple smart cover snaps on. So there's actually magnets in the iPad, so, so that way the case snaps right on. And then the cool thing is once the case is on, it automatically turns off the display. And once you open it, it turns right back on. So you can actually, it's loud in here, but you can actually hear it clicking um, on and off. So, so you are saving your battery. It is turning off your iPad just by applying the smart case. And the smart case also acts as, of course, as a stand. So you can you can stand it. So you can so you can type on it like this, or if you prefer to watch a movie standing up, you can actually turn it up like this as well. So again, that's the Apple Smart Case. And then the next things, the, the next main features of the iPad 2, of course, are all the new features in terms of software. So first, let's start with uh, the main attraction, FaceTime. So we can actually click on FaceTime here, and then we'll be able to. We'll be able to see all of our other FaceTime contacts, and then you can click on them and, and do FaceTime just as you'd expect. And of course, you can do iPad 2 to iPad 2, iPad 2 to iPhone 4, and even iPad 2 to um, to, to the Mac, uh, to, to FaceTime on the Mac. Um, and then, he, so here we are uh, using uh, the camera app. You can switch cameras, and uh, and you can record both the front-facing and back-facing camera. The back-facing camera is 720p, while the front-facing is a VGA camera. So, so, so that's camera and FaceTime. Now let's show you a couple of the, of the Apple apps that were newly announced for the iPad 2. So next we have here uh, GarageBand. And GarageBand, we'll just go through briefly, but basically the, the cool thing here is you can plug in real instruments, or Apple has a bunch of these smart instruments that help people who don't even know how to play music make songs that sound pretty decent. So here we are on a smart guitar. All of our chords are here. We can just strum them and make music, and we can also record our music and even email it out. So that that's GarageBand. And then next, uh, the other new Apple app they talked about today was iMovie. And of course, iMovie has been out for the iPhone 4, but it really is a lot more robust on the iPad too. Steve Jobs said, it is not a toy. Um, there's precision editing, uh, and of course you, you, you can you can add your own music and make really and make real videos. And there's actually pretty cool themes, so it's pretty easy out of the gate to start making movies using iMovie. And then uh, the last Apple app um, to talk about today was Photo Booth. So Photo Booth is a lot of fun. Um, and basically, so here for example, we are in the kaleidoscope view. And you can use your finger to actually move, move it around. Let's look at a different one instead of kaleidoscope. Let's try um, let's try mirror for example. That's what they showed in the demo today. So you can mirror. You can show here I am with my just recording with my iPhone, and you can pull it away and do a bunch of cool stuff. And you can take pictures too of yourself when you get the perfect shot, and then it saves it to your camera roll. So uh, that's a new iPad too. Um, it'll be in stores on March 11th at the same price points as the iPad 1. So pretty cool, I'm excited, can't wait to see it.